Greetings, couponers. This is Kelly Edge Couponers coming to you with our Dollar Tree haul for the weekend. Um, actually, all this was done yesterday on April 7th. April 7th. Okay, first let me just start. Even though I just said this is a Dollar Tree um, video, I want to start off talking to you about um, what happened to me at Walgreens. I um, am a teacher, and I have this student with this beautiful, uh, I teach at the university, and I have a student with this beautiful skin, beautiful complexion. I'm always saying, oh my gosh, your, your complexion is so beautiful. So she sent me this email telling me the stuff that she uses, and one of the things that she uses is this, this Ambi complexion cream. So I'm going around, you know, shopping and picking up, um, trying to find those diabetes books so I can, um, at Walgreens, so that I could get the contour coupon, $10 contour coupon out of them to use at Walmart. Check out my Walmart video to get more information about that. And I come across these on sale. Normally $2.99, they're on sale for $1.29. And do you know that I did not have my Walgreens coupons with me? Seriously, couponers, never be caught without your coupons. I have all these dollar um, register rewards that came from, I can't even remember what product, like the week before last, that, that it was like free, so I just got it or whatever, got them or whatever. I don't even do register rewards like that. I have these whole bunch of register rewards I have to um, run through, and I ended up paying um, for two of those, $2.60 out of my pocket. So never be caught dead without your coupons. Okay, dead or alive. Okay, moving those out of the way, let's talk about this Dollar Tree deal. So Dollar Tree deal is that, um, uh, where are the coupons? Let me show you the, the coupons that I, oh, I don't think I have any in here. Okay, so I used the Olay coupons that came in this um, most recent Procter & Gamble insert. I don't know exactly the date, but um, it's um, the most recent Procter & Gamble insert. They're for a dollar off of an Olay beauty bar. So the at Dollar Tree, the the coupon policy is that they're, they limit four like coupons per per family per day. Four like, four like coupons per, per family for day, per day. So I have told you that I live in a major metropolitan area. There are many Dollar Trees around. Of course, not as many Dollar Trees as there are Publixes, which are almost on every corner, um, or Walgreens, which is almost on every corner. CVS, every other corner. Dollar Tree, definitely every, like, I don't know, like 10 corners, really not that uh, that many, but um, I was able to go to one, two, three, four, five Dollar Trees as I was doing around, going around doing my other, my other shopping. So, um, five Dollar Trees you see, and I did a couple, multiple transactions at a couple of them. I buy my newspapers at Dollar Tree. These are the Fort Lauderdale Sun Sentinel papers, and they normally cost two dollars. If you can see there on the corner, two dollars. But the Dollar Tree, guess how much they cost? One dollar. So it's worth it for me to go there. I live in Southern Palm Beach County, really close to the Broward County line. So um, I actually went to my store first, which is literally across the street from my house. From, you know, um, go out to the major street, go out of my subdivision, go out to the major street. And right across the street, there's Dollar Tree and Target. Um, and uh, I went there. I bought the Palm Beach Post for um, a dollar each and I had to turn right back around thank goodness I looked you know I'm a crazy couponer so I looked in there once I left and went back and realized that there were and had to return them because there were no coupons in there I usually check at any store I go to but I'm so familiar with that store I know that they know that I'm coming I know that they don't let anybody go into those newspapers so I usually never have a problem there so and they know I never you know have a problem there and I never return anything so they had no problem you know taking those coupons I mean newspapers back because for whatever reason the um, delivery guy didn't put the coupons in there crazy right so what happened though was because I paid on my card they could not give me my money back or something like that. I had to get other items. So what I got are these one, two, three, four, five, six storage items in, in instead. I teach coupon classes. So that's what I'm going to use with the, the ba baskets for my baskets of giveaways. I have a couple more of those baskets in those colors. Um, so I'll use them for my giveaways. And those other ones I'll just use for storage of the products here at home. So what you see on the table is, uh, I don't remember how many. Um, let me see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. 24 bars of Olay. I'm very excited about the Olay. That's the only coupon I had with me, Dollar Tree. So, I, like I said, as I was driving around doing my other stuff and I knew I needed to get my newspapers, I just 
pick them up at the stores that I went to. Later in the day, I had a friend with me. She's not in my family. So we went back to the two, and we were in the area, so we went back to the two, two of the Dollar Trees. And so I got um, eight more. Um, she got eight more of them for me. I also got these storage bins. Um collapsible storage containers that are kind they should fit the um four by what is it the eight by eleven size envelope so that I can put my coupon inserts in there. Um they only had two of the color that I can use but that's fine. They're a dollar and hopefully if they they're not too flimsy that they'll be fine. If not they're only a dollar. Um I want to tell you that these at the different stores I went to one, two, three and then four, I guess five yeah, I went to five stores. Look, one, two, three, four, five, five stores. I wrote down what items that I saw. One, two, three, four, five. I wrote down the items that I saw that um, they probably have coupons for. So I'm gonna go check those out and um, and start doing some matchups myself. Um, but just for information, I do the app, the matchups after I check the matchups that are existing. I'm not going to do double work. It doesn't make any sense. We have all these great coupons out there who do the matchups. So that is the information about what you see on the table. Information about what I paid is that this all came out to nine, uh, $19.46. Again, you all know how I feel about paying money out of pocket. I feel like that's super high. But remember... If you watch, just watch my Walmart video, I just got $28.74 worth of overage from Walmart. And so if I, do, if I subtract the $19.46 from that, since I did those transactions on the same weekend, that, is, that gives me $9.28 overage. So to give you further information about the way I shop, I told you that I shop for several families, right? I have seven Walgreen, Wal, um, CVS cards. I shop for several families. So what I do is I give myself a budget of $100 for shopping for all seven families. That includes myself or all families. I'm not going to say just seven families, but all the families I shop for, including myself, I get, um, I, Get, give myself a hundred dollar budget so I do the similar I let my money roll over so for for when I look at what I purchased this week I didn't do any Publix I did um, CVS for the week of uh, April 1st through 7th I do it in um, you know monthly I mean weekly according to the calendar month uh, calendar week uh, yeah calendar month and um, you saw my CVS video, but I went out and I did told you that I had some more CVS work to, work to do, and I went out and I did that vid, I did that shop shop, and it was a pretty pretty large shop. But um, by the time it was like done the, the the last night Saturday night, and so I just figured not to even make a video about it. But um, I ended up paying um, all, all, overall at CVS, I ended up paying forty seven dollars and twenty four cents out of pocket at CVS. So, if I take that $9.24 overage that um, came from Walmart, that I subtracted $19.46 from um, Dollar Tree, and then I roll that into that $47.24 out of pocket that I paid at, at, um, at um, CVS, that brings me down to $37.96 out of pocket for pretty big hauls at um, Dollar Tree, Walmart, and two pretty big hauls at CVS. So $37.96 out of pocket, not so bad. Then at CVS, I was up and up extra bucks. I was went up an extra bucks by $68.45. So I had $68.45 extra, like more extra bucks. If I so so that's the $37.96 is cash, like done, it's cold hard cash out of pocket. But just to calculate the value um, of what I earned or spent this week, if I subtract the $68.45 of extra, extra bucks, extra care bucks that I came out of this week with up from last week, then uh, and I subtract the $37.96 from that, that gives me basically I have an overage of $96. I mean, $28.49 this week for all my shopping this week. So I went up in ECBs and everything with a, by a value of $28.49, and those things are found in my CVS ECBs. Okay, as you also have seen, I did not do a um, video for the 20% off um, coupon. I saw everyone saying that a lot of the, the items were not coming off at 20%. I figured I would just continue doing what I was doing and then just go ahead and use my... Um, 
my coupons that I have to do a regular CVS run. So stay tuned for that, my CVS run. Um, I haven't gone yet, but I will post it whenever I go this week. Okay, have a great day, coupons, couponers. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Take care. See you next time.